So everyone, now today we're going to read a book called Finding Nemo. After Nemo was born, Marlin wouldn't let him out of his sight, but Nemo just wanted to have fun. On his first day of school, he was ready for adventure. Wake up, wake up, come on! Nemo exclaimed, swimming circles around his sleepy father. As they swam to school together, Marlin kept reminding Nemo to hold his fin. After all, the ocean was a dangerous place. Nemo met up with his class. The teacher, Mr. Ray, ensured Marlin that Nemo would be safe. At the drop-off, Nemo swam away with his new friends. Ted, the butterfly fish, seldom the seahorse and Pearl, the octopus, they dared each other to swim to a drive boat. But then Mr. Ray found them, and so did Marlin. Marlin was angry at Nemo. You think you can just do these things, but you can't, he declared. Nemo wanted to prove his dad was wrong, so he swam right up to the boat and hit it with his fin. Marlin told Nemo to swim back immediately, but suddenly a diver appeared. Daddy, help me! Nemo shouted. Marlin started to swim towards his son, but at the moment, a second diver took a photograph and Marlin was blinded by the flash. In the meantime, the first diver had caught Nemo in the net. Marlin was too late. Marlin raced to the surface as the diver sped away. A school bar mars flew overboard and dropped into the ocean. Then the boat disappeared. Nemo! Marlin cried. Marlin rushed to get help. Has anybody seen a boat? He cried. He soon collided with a blue fish named Dory. She told him she had seen a boat. Follow me, she said. Marlin didn't know it, but Dory had a very bad memory. After just a few seconds, she couldn't even remember why Marlin was following her. Were you quit it? She asked, confused. Marlin turned to swim away and came face to face with a great white shark. The shark, whose name was Bruce, told Marlin and Dory he just wanted to be friends. Marlin was sure it was a trap. Bruce told them to the soccer submarine to meet his buddies Anchor and Troon. The sharks are trying to become vegetarians. They chant to fish our friends, not food. Just then, Marlin spotted the mask that has fallen out of the diver's boat. He wondered if the writing on the strap might be a clue to help him find Nemo. Dory wanted to ask the sharks if they could read it, but the the strap snap and make tunnels bleed. The scent of blood tempered Bruce and he suddenly wanted to eat Dory after all. So now we're going to continue in part 2, okay? Bye and remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you!